Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Pass only GUI. So basically how this will work, if a player owns a specific Game Pass, they will be able to open a exclusive GUI just for Game Pass owners. Just before the video begins, I would like to announce that I now have my own merch store. We have an amazing selection of products at a very reasonable price. If you did want to go check out some of these products, you can find the link to the store at the top of the description. We are actively adding more products and designs, so if you do want to support us, make sure to go check out the merch store. So now that you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to head over to your Explorer and find where it says Start a GUI. Click on the plus button next to Start a GUI and insert a screen GUI. Inside the screen GUI, we want to insert two frames. Now we're going to go and adjust the first frame here because we can really just do one frame at a time. But there you go, we want to go and expand our one frame over the whole entire screen and then we want to set the background transparency to one. We now want to go and rename this frame from in, in the properties to main frame. So now that we've made our main frame, we want to go and click on the plus button again next to our screen GUI and insert a new frame. This is going to be the frame which is going to be holding this exclusive GUI. Now this exclusive GUI could be a teleport GUI, it could be a donation GUI, it could be a GUI saying, thank you so much for purchasing, it, purchasing this game pass, you can now click this GUI. Really, whatever sort of GUI or whatever you want on this GUI, this is going to be it. So now that you've inserted your two frames, you want to head over to your main frame, click on the plus button and either insert a text button or a image button. It doesn't really matter, for this tutorial we're going to be using a text button which is going to be called something like Game Pass. But you now want to go and adjust your text button. You can add corners on it, you can add um, gradients, you can, you can adjust it to however you would like. But we're going to be changing the text to, let's just call it Game Pass. We'll size up the font and we'll also just change the different type of font there. So once you've finished adjusting your text button, which is going to be the button which the player clicks, and if they don't own the Game Pass, it will be prompted, and if they do own the Game Pass, this GUI will open. We then want to click on the plus button next to our text button, and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted this local script inside of your text button, you now want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, it's going to be called script1, something like mainframe, text button, local script, you want to copy that and then you want to bring that back to Roblox Studio and paste in the new code. So we are now needing to go and adjust a couple of things here. Where it says local Game Pass ID on line 2, we want to go and change this ID to our Game Pass ID which the player has to own for them to open this GUI. If you don't already have a Game Pass created, we're going to show you how to create one now. So first of all, you want to go and load into your basic settings or into your settings of your game through the main Roblox page. Then you want to click on associated items here on the left and then you're going to click on passes and then you're going to click on create pass. You are also now able to change the game pass image by clicking on change and then you select the image that you want your game pass to be associated around. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be leaving it as the standard golden ticket that is on default in Roblox. We then want to go and select a name. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be calling this game pass. But for example, let's say you have maybe a VIP game pass. You're going to change this, the name to VIP. You can add a bit of a description, it's not necessary, but then you want to go and click on Create Pass. So now that you've created your Game Pass, you want to click back on your Game Pass, and then you want to click on Sales, Item for Sale, turn that on so it is enabled, and then we want to set a price. For this tutorial, I'm going to be doing a price of 1 Robux, just for testing purposes, but for example, you can go and change this to 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, it's up to you. You, you. you can decide on what price you want your Game Pass to be, then you want to go and click on Save Changes. So now that you've completed creating your Game Pass, you want to head over here, click on the three dots, and click Copy Asset ID. We now want to go and change this ID to our Game Pass ID. Now, depending on what you've named your frame to, as you guys remember, our main frame, which is going to be holding the GUI when the player clicks on our Game Pass button, whatever you named that frame, you want to go and change that name to here. So for example, let's say you called it Bob, you called your, your frame Bob, you want to go and change that to Bob. But as you guys remember, our frame is called frame, so we're just going to be keeping it as frame. So now that you've saved your script, now we want to head over to our main frame, which is going to be holding our GUI, and then you want to go and customize your GUI. So you can you can add corners to it, you can add gradients, you can add images to it, you can add text. It's completely up to you, but for this tutorial, all we're going to be adding here is going to be an X button. Now we're going to be either using a text button or an image button. For this tutorial, I'll be using a text button. We want to go and size this down and we'll go put this in the corner and we can change the background color to maybe like a red kind of meaning it meaning it's an x button we then want to go and change the text to x but keep in mind you can also use an image button instead 
because an image button will probably look a little bit better. But there you go, there's our X button. And keep in mind, you can go and add text labels, you know, image buttons, you can, you can add really whatever you would like. So now that you've inserted your X button, we want to head over to our frame, which is holding our X button. And then we want to click on our X button. And then we want to click on the plus button next to our text button and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted a local script inside of your X button, you now want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description. It's going to be called X button local script. It's going to be called script two. You want to go back into Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Basically what happens here, if the X button is clicked, it goes to the script, which is the script over here that we are currently working on the script, to the parent, then to the parent of that, and then it goes down to the visibility and it changes the visibility to false, basically closing the GUI. So once you've finished adjusting everything, you're gonna head over to your frame and then you're gonna set the visibility to false, basically making our screen look like this. Before testing, please make sure that your third party sales are enabled. If they're not, you wanna head over to your game settings, click on security, and then you wanna click on the allow third party sales and click save. Please keep in mind when testing your game, it may not seem like it will work and it may just seem like the GUI pops up, but the reason why the GUI automatically pops up or when you click it, even though you haven't originally bought the Game Pass, because you are the owner of the game and you are the owner or the creator of the Game Pass, you will automatically get your Game Pass. So what we want to do to go make sure that it completely works, we want to click on our three dots and we want to click delete from inventory, basically deleting our Game Pass from our inventory so that we are prompted the Game Pass purchase page. As you guys can see, we are now in the base player and if we go click on our Game Pass button, the Game Pass prompting page will pop up, basically allowing us to purchase our Game Pass. And if we purchase this Game Pass, click on OK. And then if we click back on our Game Pass, the GUI will open. And if we click on our X here, the GUI will close. And now that we own our Game Pass, we will never be asked to purchase the Game Pass again, unless we delete it from our inventory. Because they now own the Game Pass, they will be able to open this GUI whenever they would like. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord or create a ticket in my Discord server and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.